Joining him now for more on President Xi's visit to Senegal is Ni Akuta. He's executive director of the African Immigrant Caucus here in Washington, D.C. So, you know, ahead of this trip, President Xi published an article in Senegal's leading newspaper, and he wrote that uh, trade volume between these two countries grew by 16 times in just a decade. How does Senegal view China as a partner? I think uh, um, it's very important to the country, uh, Senegal as a whole, but particularly to President Macky Sall. I have to, I have to confess to you, when I've heard of the uh, One Belt One uh, uh, Road Initiative, I have always thought, you know, is the eastern, so, uh, uh, northeastern corner of Africa, Ethiopia, Djibouti, and as um, as uh, your colleague mentioned in Dakar. Senegal is the westernmost point of Africa in the, on the Atlantic coast. So it is stunning to me that the growing partnership between Senegal and, uh, and uh, China, which tells me that the uh, initiative is actually going to look at the whole continent rather than just the eastern uh, 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 seaboard, the Indian Ocean seaboard. So I think it's highly significant for the continent, but clearly it is extremely important for Mr. Mr. Macky Sall, who has this emerging Senegal plan. And you mentioned strategic location. It's there on the coast, the western side. Uh, we could see some connections from one part of the continent to the other, not just yes. on each coast. Yes, yes, absolutely. And, and of course, so that makes it sort of, because of the already strong economic presence on the east coast, it, uh, with, with Dakar and uh, Senegal added, it makes it east-west. But it's not just east-west, because he, uh, President Xi, of course, is ne tomorrow will be in Rwanda, and then from there he's in South Africa. So it's east-west and north-south and central. When you look at all the nations that President Xi is visiting on this tour, what do they all have in common? I think, like, um, they're, they're, um, the rest of the continent, they all have great need for economic growth and, uh, and uh, stability. But I think, um, you know, of course, China makes its own calculations about which ones is going to prioritize from the outside looking in. It tells me that they, the other thing that they also have is they have proven that they are very serious with serious plans that they want to implement that is compatible with the One Belt, One Road initiative. What uh, do you look for at the end of this visit? Once he finishes up and heads back to Beijing, what are some of the big uh, commitments or deliverables that we'll see come out of this African tour? Yes, uh, as was mentioned, he's, he's, uh, he's going with um, a group of uh, Chinese officials and Chinese businessmen. So uh, at the level below the head of state level, there will be agreements signed, company to company, you know, specific projects. I'll be looking at those. But we have also mentioned that FOCAC in, uh, will be coming up in Beijing. So you will see what is, uh, uh, has been solidified and, 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 and strengthened by, by this trip. Another thing to look out for, uh, and again, this is uh, quite important, I think, is how the rest of the major trading uh, economic partners in the world react how are they going to they are they going to sit back or are they going to say my goodness china has shifted gears its presence in africa has always been strong now it's taking it to a new level what are they going to do in in a, a global economic environment that now actually people are worried about uh, about trade trade wars and uh, and the problems that um, the wto will have to we have to solve and, and you mentioned all that chaos currently taking place with these disputes and yes. these complaints. Uh, and then we see, you know, China has, as you mentioned, a long relationship with Africa, but they've sent not just President Xi, but they always seem to have a high-level member of government visiting, making a tour. Absolutely. You know, Prime Minister Lee has been to several African countries. And so, again, as somebody sitting in the West looking and seeing how Africa's relationship with the former colonial masters and even with the United States with its huge community over almost 40 million people of African descent, um, it makes you realize that China is, um, is uh, presenting a new strategy for engaging Africa, and I think it's going to get the attention of those other countries. I mean, I have to say it has already gotten their attention. We'll leave it there and see how it unfolds. Niakute.
thank you for your perspective. My pleasure.